Hi, this is Donna. Welcome to DD Paper Crafts. And today we're going to be making this center step out with a difference card, which was influenced by a card that I saw on Pinterest, which was on the blog, A Passion for Cards. I've changed the sizes to suit a uh, five by seven when it folds down but the basic construction elements are as per the blog that I've seen. And let's just get in and let's put the card together. We are starting with a piece of cardstock which measures seven inches by 10 inches. And we're going to start with the scoring and I'm going to lay my ruler in my scoreboard just to help. So we're going to score at one inch down to one inch, two inches down to one inch, and six inches down to one inch. So one inch, two inches, and six inches down to one inch. Now we now want to do this on the opposite side. I'm going to flip my cardstock. and repeat the process one inch down to one inch two inches down to one inch and six inches down to one inch flip my cardstock back and just go over the score lines i've created like so we then are going to score at five inches along and we're going to score between the one inch score line so we're going to score at five inches and we're going to score between one inches and six inches like so but our next score line we want to score at one inch along and we're going to score between two and five inches. So our piece currently looks like this and I will put a template at the end of the video with the score lines and cut lines. So we now need to produce our cut lines. Now you can either do this in your trimmer or use a craft knife and ruler, whichever is your preference. I'm going to use a craft knife and ruler. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to start with the right hand side of the card is if we have our all our score lines towards the bottom of the card, we're going to cut between the end of the top score line down to the end of the bottom score line. So we're effectively joining up all the score lines with a cut line. Like so. So we're just creating our basic center stepper. We're going to do the same on the left hand side. So again I'm joining up the end of all the score lines from the top score line down to the bottom score line and I'm keeping my blade pressed against the ruler so that I don't veer off. So I've now got my two cut lines like so. We then want to, and you might want to mark this with a pencil to help you, but our next cut line, and you might want to mark the measurements with a pencil first, from the top of this score line here at the two inch point, you want to measure along three inches 
Do the same here. Measure along three inches, like so, and then join these two up. And we're going to cut around to create an aperture which is still joined at the bottom and this is going to create our stage. So again, I'm going to use my craft knife and ruler and I'm just going to cut along my pencil lines. So we now have a flap effectively. And then for our final cut line, you can do this one of two ways. You can either measure in one inch from the right hand side and cut between the two inch and the five inch mark on your trimmer. Alternatively, if you fold this center panel, like so fold along the two one inch score lines at this end on the left and on the right so you've created your card base flip your cut element forwards along the fold and we're basically going to make a slit which runs the length of this section here and this is the slit that our stage is then going to slot into to make the 3D element. So I could either go in here with a pencil and trace the line and then go over the cut over the pencil line or I'm going to go in with my craft knife and ruler and I'm going to cut into the back panel to create my slit like so. So I'll just test that my slot is wide enough which it is so this is how the card will sit the recipient will receive it flat and i'll put some little instructions inside the envelope to say lift the card up push the center flap down push it through the slot at the back like so and then the card will stand. So that's our card, the basis of our card, and we now just decorate as we choose. I've allowed for a half inch slot to go through the other side of the card. So for instance, the element for my stage area will be two and a half by three inches and then the end of the decorative paper on the base will indicate how far the slot needs to come through to the back. Now one thing you can do is you could decorate before you cut this section here one thing you could do, apply your DSP and then cut your three-sided aperture. So I'm now going to go ahead and decorate this particular card. And I want to have some elements standing up in the stage. So I'm going to adhere acetate to the back of my ephemera pieces and then cut slot into this element here which they'll then go through and will hopefully stand up. So I'm going to get on with the decoration 
and we'll see how the card comes together at the end. Here's the card as it would appear in the envelope and then we lift this piece up, push this piece down, got it through the back like so. To start the decoration of the card, I added the card the I added my decorative paper to the back inside panel. And once I'd stuck that down, I then laid the card out flat and cut the slot through the additional element of paper. Now, one thing I would say is the slot needs to be wide enough to put the tab for the stage through, but not so wide as the stage then falls out through the tab. I cut my slot too wide, so to compensate for that, I added a score line at the end of the, at the start of the tab. I cut two small wedges of, off to make the tab easier to push through. And now my stage fits through the tab and then can just be folded down behind and it now sits quite nicely. To add the display elements onto the stage, one thing to bear in mind is the size of the elements because you don't want them when they're sitting upright to impede with the back of the card at all. You can see here this element is just sitting on the back of the card. If that was any taller, that could potentially cause an issue. So I've added my ephemera onto the back of some half inch strips of acetate. I've cut some slots through the stage and I've then folded my, bent my acetate through on the other side and adhered it with some red liner tape. So that's the finished card. I'm really happy with how it's come out. I think it's actually really effective. The ephemera I've used is from the Made to Surprise Under the Sea ephemera collection. And the majority of the papers I've used are Craft Consortium. And they are from the Ink Drops Earth paper pad and the sand effect was just from an old The Works paper pad. So that's today's Centre Stepper with a Difference card. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to go away and see if I can create a larger version, a larger deconstructed version so that I have more of a theatre element in the middle to play with. So until the next time, thanks for watching.